Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk you about how to photograph the Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis. This natural phenomenon is a breathtaking sight and with the right equipment and techniques you can capture its beauty and bring it home with you. First of all, the location is key. The first and most important factor in capturing the Northern Lights is your location. You want to find a place with clear, dark skies and minimal light pollution. Some of the best places to see the Northern Lights are in the Northern Hemisphere, near the Arctic Circle, for example Iceland, Canada or Finland. To capture the Northern Lights, you need a camera that allows you to adjust the shutter speed, the ISO and aperture. A tripod is also essential as it will keep your camera steady and prevent blurring in your photos. First of all the shutter speed. When it comes to the shutter speed it's important to keep it slow to allow the camera to capture as much light as possible. A shutter speed of around 10 seconds is a good starting point but you may need to adjust it based on the brightness of the aurora. Next let's talk about ISO. This setting controls the sensitivity of your camera's sensor to light. For shooting the northern lights, you'll want to set your ISO to around 800 to 1600. This will allow you to capture enough light while still maintaining a reasonable level of image quality. Finally, let's talk about aperture. The setting controls the size of the hole through which light enters the camera. A lower F number will allow more light into the camera, but it can also result in a shallower depth of field. For shooting the northern lights, it's best to use an aperture of F2.8 for example, or wider. Last but not least, Put your focus mode into manual and use the live view of your camera to focus on a spot as far as possible, for example a star or a light on a street at the horizon. Focusing is the most difficult part because it's probably completely dark, but once your camera is focused, you don't have to touch it anymore for the rest of the night. When it comes to composing your shots, you have to get creative. The northern lights can take on many different shapes and forms, so try experimenting with different angles and perspectives. You can also include elements in your shot, such as trees or buildings, to give the photo more depth and context. Of course, you have to practice a lot. You don't have to be discouraged at your first attempts, because they won't turn out exactly as you hoped, but it takes practice and patience to get the shot you want, but the results are definitely worth it. So grab your camera and hit the road to find a clear dark sky and most importantly have fun. That's it for today's tutorial on how to photograph the northern lights. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you have any more comments or questions about shooting the northern light, please put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.